Hello there, I'm going to show you how to install Mumble. First, you need to go to Google and Google Mumble. Um, the first link that will pop up is mumble.sourceforge.net. This is the link you want to go to. This is where I download my Mumble stuff. Um, here you'll see a Get Mumble and OS's. For whatever OS you are using, just click the link and that will download Mumble that you need. Um, I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to just go to my downloads and I'm going to run it. Click Run. Um, next. I accept the terms of in the license agreement. Click next. Um, for those of you that don't run your own server, this is perfect, and you don't care about the location, just hit next. But for those of you like me that care and are OCD about how your computer is set up, I want the server to be installed because I will be running a server at some point in my time here using Mumble, and I don't want it to go to the C drive because that's filling up mighty fast. So I want to go to my data drive and my programs and make their own little fumble or my own little folder called Mumble. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit Next. And I'm going to hit Install. It's going to install. I want to start Mumble. And here it's already connecting me to a server. I'm going to disconnect. And I'm going to try connecting. And this is the screen you'll get the first time you go on. And what's going to happen is you want to add new. Label is whatever you want to call it. It has no effect on how you connect to the server. Um, you can call it home, friends, whatever application you're using it for, you can call it whatever you need to. Um, next is the address. That's what someone will give you to connect to a server. So they're going to be an IP address or a web address, um, just depending on who's hosting it. Port, they will also give you. It's going to always be a number, so just yeah, put that in. The username is is what they uh, want you to, was what you want to go by. Like, if your gamer tag is... Bob, you'd put Bob here, and that's how you'd show up in the Mumble server. Um, as you can see, there is no password field. Um, generally, that won't come. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. So, basically, what's going to happen is you're going to log in. It's going to ask you for a security certificate, which you'll just click yes to, and then it's going to say you cannot connect because you entered the password wrong. It's going to give you a little box to enter the password. All you do is enter the password then. Um, I'm just going to connect to Crimson. I'm going to connect. Um, since I've already connected, I don't get the little certificate box, and so I don't have an issue with that. Some of you also get the audio setup, audio tuning, which you just go through this. It's pretty self-explanatory throughout the whole thing. You just hit next. You don't even have to do it. You can just cancel it. That's fine. You won't have your push to talk set up, though. And basically how you get push to talk set up outside the wizard is you go to settings. And that will bring up this box right here. You're going to click advanced. Then you're going to go to shortcuts. And generally, this won't be here if you don't have it, so we're going to remove it so I can show you how to do it. You're going to go Add. It's going to be unsigned. You click on it. It's going to be a little drop-down box. And we're going to go Push to Talk. And then to add a shortcut, you're just going to click in this little space right here. You can't click here. You can't click here. You have to click where the highlighted row is. Just click on that, and it'll give you a gray box, and it tells you what keyboard shortcut you want it to be, which I have mine left control, so I'm going to hit left control right now. And there it is. It's set up make sure suppress is not checked that will not allow this function to work hit apply okay now your mumble server is, or your mumble client is set up um, just make sure that you do register um, I can't do it because I don't have I have already done it but you just right click on your name and there will be a register button um, around here somewhere just click it and it would register and you get this little cool guy with a plus on him um, that's it for setting up a mumble client it's pretty self-explanatory pretty easy um have any questions leave them in the comments i'll check them periodically um mainly this is set up for my friends and my online guildies so most people will just be able to contact me through game so um have fun connecting through mumble